Hey Chopper, this viewer's not subscribed. Cardi Kaizoku. We have a Z versus Kinemon match. Let's go second. Ooh, Tenkasku's on. I think we should risk keeping this hand. They pass with no plays. We'll also pass with no plays. They attack our leader with Kinemon for 5k, we'll take. They discount an Okiku for 2, and then play a Momonosuke and pass. We'll attack leader with Z for 5k. They take. We'll play Kobe. We'll trash an ulti and KO their Okiku. Since we went second, we don't really need these ultis anymore. But if I really wanted to, I could have played two ultis on my third turn to ramp up to 8 Dawn. And I could play Tenkasku's on the turn after, but I don't think I want to be that greedy. Especially since Kinemon's early game is really strong. They activate Momo to search for a Wano Country card. They discount with their leader ability to play an Izo for 2. I guess they whiffed on Momo. They rest our Kobe with Izo. They attach 2 Dawn to leader and attack Kobe for 7k. He dies. We'll attack Momonosuke with leader for 5k. I hate that it taps after they search now in the sim because it's confusing whether they whiff or not now. We'll play Kuzan and pass with 2 Dawn open for an impact wave. Let's hope he attacks with leader first so we can get rid of the Izo. They attack us with their leader for 5k, we'll impact wave and KO Izo, just what we wanted. They play a second Izo and tap our Kuzan, then they play an X trick and KO him. We'll attack leader with Z for 5k. They take. We'll play Borsalino. We'll play a Garp in anticipation for our Tenkos Kuzan out next turn. And we'll leave 2 Dawn up for impact wave. And then maybe Garp can put in some work after Kuzan is established. They attach Dawn to leader and attack ours for 6k. We'll counter for 2k. And he still has Dawn to play an Odin or something. I think we should impact wave and kill the Izo here, since they'll use the rest of the Dawn for an Odin probably. Yep, and there's the Odin. We'll play Kuzan. We'll KO the X Drake. Then we'll attack leader with Z for 5k and then activate leader ability to KO Odin, who now costs 3. They bring out an Okiku with Odin's ability on death. And we get plus 1k for the leader ability. They take. They attach Dawn to Okiku. They attack our leader for 6k and tap our Borsalino with her on attack effect. We'll take. They might try to kill our Borsalino here. Or just play another Odin. They attach 1 Dawn to leader, 2 Dawn to leader, no Odin then. They attack our leader with theirs for 7k, we'll take this one. Oh right, he could discount, so they're able to play Odin anyway, forgot about that. But no problem for us. We want to leader ability again, but we want a way to use up the 4 Dawn that we need to return with him. For now, let's attach Tudon to Garp and attack leader for 5k and KO Okiku with his ability because she now costs 0. They take. They get a Pung Gibson to tap our Kuzan. That's not good. Uh, we'll play Ulti. We'll activate her ability to ramp 1 Dawn. And that'll give us the 4 Dawn we can use to return for our leader ability while getting value out of it. We'll do 3 Dawn on leader and attack theirs for 8k. We'll return 4 Dawn and KO their Odin again. They bring out another Okiku, but we get plus 1k to our attack, bringing it to 9k. And they take. Alright, they're at 0 life, but we're at 1. They only have 2 attacks available this turn, but they can tap our blocker. They attach 4 Dawn to Okiku and attack our leader for 9k and tap our Borsalino. We'll counter for 5k. 
And then with 6 Dawn, well, we can afford to take this hit, so I don't think they can win. They attack Garp with Leader for 5k. They play Bonnie. I guess they're hoping to look for a blocker. They find a badge with Bonnie's ability. They play him. They play Momo. They find a Odin with Momo. And they pass with one Dawn open. I don't think they can stop us. And they concede. We win. Let me try to get a second game. That one was pretty quick. Right, we have another Z versus Kinemon match. Let's go second. Let's try out Jack instead of Ulti. They play a Bedge and pass. We'll pass with no plays. And then we have Kobe next turn in case they play something that we need to worry about. They attack us with the leader for 5k. We'll take. They play a Momo. Oh, and they pass without searching. We'll attack leader with Z for 5k. They take. We'll play Kuzan. And we'll pass. With Kuzan now, we can potentially kill the Yamato they play with our Kobe. They play an Izo to tap our Kuzan. They attach Tudon to leader and attack Kuzan for 7k. Uh, I don't think I want to save him. And they pass. We'll attack leader with Z for 5k. They take. We'll play Borsalino and a Garp, and we'll pass. They attack our leader with Kinemon for 5k. We'll counter for 1k. They play a 7 cost kid. Perfect, we drew into our 10 cost Kuzan. I don't think we'll be able to win without him. And luckily he shows up in time for our next turn. For now, I do have quite a few ways to reduce the cost of 7 cost kid. If I can bring him to 3, I can kill him with Kobe. Let's attack leader with Z first for 5k. They block with Bedge. We'll play Tsuru to give minus 2 to kid. We'll play Tashigi to give another minus 2. And then we'll play Kobe. We'll discard a queen here and KO the kid. Then we'll pass. And then we can reuse Tashigi next turn with our 10 cost Kuzan if we need. But they will probably try to kill her since she's the only rested character we have. But we do have 3k in hand to save her if we need. And they'll probably need Dawn to play their next threat so they can't bring Kinemon too high. They attach Dawn to leader and attack Tashigi for 6k. Uh, we'll let her die. I think these counters are better served protecting our life. I don't think Kinemon runs any 10 cost cards anyway, or if there are any green 10 cost cards. They play an 8 cost kid. We'll play Kuzan. We'll KO the Momonosuke with his own playability. We'll attack leader with Z for 5k. Use our leader ability to KO their 8 cost kid, which now costs 3. And we get plus 1k power. They counter for 2k, and we'll pass. With 10 cost Kuzan now, our Garp can start putting in work too. And our leader ability can hit anything in their deck, so we should be pretty good for the rest of this match. They activate leader ability to discount their next Wano card. They attach Tudon to leader and attack ours for 7k, we'll just take it. We have life to spare. They attach 3 Dawn to Izo and attack our leader for 6k. We'll counter for 2k. They play a OP01 Yamato and a Bedge and pass. We can just kill Yamato with Garp, so we'll do 2 down on Garp, attack Izo, and KO Yamato. Since she costs 0 with our 10 cost Kuzan out. I don't know if he knew that, or if that was the only play he had. Izo dies as well. We'll do 1 down on Kobe, attack leader for 5k. They counter for 1k. We'll do 1 down on leader, attack their leader for 6k. They block with Bedge. We'll attack leader with Kuzan for 10k, they take, and then we'll replace our Tsudu with another Borsalino. They get a Punk Gibson trigger to tap our Borsalino. Luckily, we can just play another one and we'll replace our Tsudu, who is useless on board. They play a Momo. They fetch a Yamato with Momo. They discount their Yamato and player to tap our Borsalino. 
They attach 5 down to leader and attack our Kuzan, 10k. We'll just counter for 2k. And they concede. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.